Uh, Fable, uh, can you go ahead and transmit rover? Uh, Calling in an airstrike is all in a day's work for Joint Terminal Attack Controllers, or JTACs. One court hot. A new tool is being tested at Nellis Air Force Base that could help lighten their load on the battlefield. It's called a handheld laser marker, or HLM, and is the first of its kind. So this one's a lot smaller, it's a lot more lightweight, it's designed to be uh, easy access. Our previous laser was probably about 10 to 12 pounds and took five batteries and almost took up your entire rucksack to carry. So this one is uh, mountable on your body armor, on your leg in a holster, and you just pull it out and point and shoot. Although it's already fielded as a marker, the HLM is being tested for effectiveness as a designator. Go to Bravo 6. While markers give pilots a general area to look, designators precisely guide munitions to their target. What it does is it sends out a pulse repetition frequency code, or a laser code, and that, coupled with a bomb, the bomb can see that code, and it tracks to the spot of that laser, where that laser is pointed at. Weapons away, 23 seconds. So you shoot it out of the target, the bomb sees it, guides to it, and uh, it's a really accurate way to employ munitions. Four one, quick hot. After months of planning and coordination, the crew was finally able to begin testing the HLM in the field, which involved over 200 dry attacks and 40 live attacks from A-10s and MQ-1s and MQ-9s. Hopefully it drives a technology uh, to get smaller, lighter, leaner, so you know, guys can use this capability whether they're on foot or in a vehicle. 